Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, Jay's talk will be available by PDF. Um, the Jay, so Jay. Uh, one fact about Jay is he used to love cricket, but for some reason this summer he decided to, to really enjoy NFL. So, um, what I'm going to um, do today is uh, give you. Um, Hello, my name is Jim Beaumont. I'm Director of Business Development for Phosphonics and we're here at uh, the Organic Process Research and Development Conference exhibiting our, our functionalised silicas and the technology that Phosphonics has developed in this field. We have key and core mobilisation technologies for the tethering of organic ligands onto silica backbones. These we use in a range of metal scavenging applications either for purification of pharmaceutical materials or indeed recovery of precious metals from industrial waste streams. In addition, we have a range of heterogeneous catalysts that we're promoting this week to the wider organic synthesis community. From the reaction mixture, and another thing we found is that <coughs> this will also crystallize <coughs> the HDL like this here. I mean, the, the thing to do is probably to go to speed low. You can speed on my own. Okay. Okay. Oh, wow. Process <laughs> RD. First of all, the usual, please turn off all cell phones. Or so, and we'll have uh, this is called a photo. These are very, very small departments. We're making the company. We're talking typically six to seven chemists. Six to seven chemists. John is also a fellow of the Royal Society of Chemistry. I have a very good introduction and uh, thank you for inviting me to speak today at this meeting. Um, it's a, an interesting story that I'll never forget. And, uh, we've talked about in detail in these meetings before. Instead, what I want to try and do is address the approach we take to synthetic group design in pharmaceuticals. And I think this is an important area to consider at the moment, considering that... The